Welcome to Vora Motors. Today, we're going to show you how to tune the Roadrunner Pro's throttle. This will allow you to adjust it to your preferences, and will also help if you're getting error code 4 on the TFT display. For this, you'll need a 2.5, 3, and 4mm hex key, a 10 and 14mm wrench, and an optional giant wrench. To begin, loosen the TFT screws with a 3mm hex key. This will allow you to loosen the four handlebar screws with a 4mm socket wrench. Next, loosen the two throttle screws with your 4mm hex key. The goal here is to slide the handlebars as far to the left as possible so you can move the throttle without disassembling. Loosen the button module with a 2.5mm hex key if necessary. Once you've removed the throttle, loosen the nut with a 14mm wrench. Now you should be able to unscrew and screw the throttle by turning it. Power your scooter on and make sure it's on single motor, mode 3. Fully unscrew the 4mm screws and remove the top half of the throttle cover. You have your cable in there in the first slot. And the mechanism of this is when you pull, the cable increase tension and that's how you get throttle. So right now, if I pull this slowly, there's still no throttle, no throttle, no throttle, no throttle, no throttle, no throttle. Look how far off I am and now it's barely starting to throttle. Okay, now we need to tune this if the user wants to have zero delay. There's two settings here. There's two notches. Depending on the user, they could either use the first one or the second one. The second one makes it tighter okay. and more responsive. Originally, we were in the first one, I moved it to the second one. And to show you the mechanism, if I just tug on this cable, you start getting the that is the mecha mechanism of a cable dot. To tune this, you make sure everything is in line into the notches and you simply insert it there. And then once you have that, you can start tuning with the cable. Now, if I turn counterclockwise, you could tell that the throttle is, without touching this, it's still going. If I go more, it increases. Now I go clockwise, I think. <laughs> it's slowly decreasing. You have to find the point where you have no throttle. So what you do is you stop the rear wheel. If it's still going, you have to keep going counterclockwise do quarter of a turn at a time. Once you find your sweet spot, lock it, tighten it, and from there, being responsive at a minimum throttle. Turn off the scooter and install the throttle on the handlebar. Once installed, turn on the scooter to see if your wheel spinning while the throttle is idle. If so, loosen the nut so you can adjust the throttle until it's not spinning while in an idle position. Then tighten it up and turn the scooter off again. Then close up the rest of your screws by tightening the 2.5mm button module screws, the 4mm handlebar screws, the 3mm TFT screws, and the 4mm throttle screws. You'll also want to ensure that the cable's 10mm nuts are tightened underneath the seat. And that's it! The throttle is now tuned to your liking. If you have any further questions or things you'd like to see, make sure to leave it below. Until then, Safe riding.